Hey everybody, I thought it'd be easier to send you a video. Center of rotation is happening here. And we're looking at really good tour players. I'll notice that club base is working in tandem. Why is that important? I think we have to understand what's truly taking place. This gets to the topic of lag. What is it? How do we get it? Can we have too much? Flexibility in the trail shoulder. 35, 40 degrees. Super important. Hope that helps. If I hear one more person walk in here and ask me something along the lines of, what is my ball speed number? And not even have a clue what in the world ball speed is, for an example, I might shoot myself. So we're gonna actually talk about this jargon, what the crap it actually means, do a little education, reverse engineer it, and actually spit back at you what in the world all this jargon actually means, and have some fun. All right, so I made a list of my favorite ones here. Greatest offenders. So first one, handle drag. Boy, this one's been butchered as of late. So short story on this one. So group of us, when we started looking at the actual kinetics of a golf swing, started figuring out, well, holy cow, we've been taught to do this for years. Well, we shouldn't be doing it. What this actually is, it's a force across the shaft. In our world, I'll be technical for just for a minute, it's negative beta. That doesn't mean you pull along the shaft into impact. What it means is, is when that club is lined up at impact, this is the shaft, you're forcing across the shaft. Not a hard one, folks. People butcher it all the time. Hall of Fame right there. Next one, angle of attack. Listen, that doesn't mean we take the club and we smack it into the ground to have a downward angle. This thing can get butchered multiple different directions depending on what device is actually measuring the thing. Again, back to why I use quad. It measures right out of the center of the club face versus other devices actually measure on the bottom of the club. So this notion that cam chain is two down with a driver, <coughs> bullshit, it's not. It's being measured off the bottom of the club. Think about that one, folks. Ball speed. Yeah, I get this one a lot. What's my ball speed? Well, listen up. If you hit it out of the middle of the club face, your ball speed's gonna be higher. If it has less loft on it, and you hit it out of the middle of the club face, your ball speed's gonna be higher. If you're hitting a sand wedge, guess what? Ball speed's gonna be lower. It's all relative. Have a good golf swing. Don't worry about it. Lag. Oh boy. Okay. Listen, lag is not something that's the lead arm in the shaft. Every club has a center of mass. How do you find that center of mass? Go find your favorite golf club. Figure out where it balances on your finger. That's close enough. When you take that golf club to the top of your backswing, if you can get that golf club pitching about the center of mass, and the club doesn't want to flee out, guess what? That's lag. How you do it? Come and talk to me. Click the button below. I'll show you how. Outside of that, don't let people tell you anything about lag. Spin loft. Ooh, this is a beauty. We have static loft of the golf club. So when you go over here and you put it in our loft and line machine, that's static loft. Dynamic loft, that's what the loft is presented when you hit the golf ball at max compression. You take that number, plus or minus the angle of attack. That degree, that's your spin loft. If you want the ball to spin more, it needs to be somewhere around 44 degrees. If you want it to spin less, 
have less spin loft. Pretty simple. Kinematic sequence. This one right here, this might be my biggest bugaboo. Go back to the AMM days. The TPI boys, Dr. Phil Cheatham. Hey, really smart guys. Dr. Cheatham comes up with this kinematic sequence. So he starts looking at all these really great players, really cool measurement of a firing sequence, which was lower body goes first, followed by the trunk, then the arms, then the club. And he went, look at this signature. They all kind of have this interesting signature. Key phrasing here, kinematic, not kinetic, kinematic sequence. You know, I've spent a lot of time with those guys. What you, we have to understand here is this. It wasn't actually intended to be something that people taught with, but it was made really popular. Next thing you know, caught fire. Everybody's sitting there trying to get people to fire their lower body like mad. Holy cow, not good. Folks, I'll cover this in a different video. The lower body, it does not start the downswing. I'm telling you. Anyway, if you've got more of these things that you wanna hear about, these things that are embedded into your golf brain, click that button below. We're here to answer them for you. Remember, we're the guys who actually have the answers. Yeah.